whole idea of it was basically turning all your senses off, re-establishing your values, re-establishing who you are, processing your thoughts and being by yourself and away from things for at least an hour or more. Stands out for you and keeps you coming back here. Uh, for me, I mean, I, lo I love floating. Um, it's it's uh, one of the best things that I do for for my recovery, for my training. And even trying to create a space that people are proud to share that they're here. You see people all the time. We've got an amazing art piece at every city cave. Whenever you walk in the front doors, we have a, a big piece that represents something to do with the area and, and that specific location. Started off in sports medicine, and then later on, I moved more into musculoskeletal therapy. I had more of an interest with how to actually treat and assess injuries. And also, I wanted to know how I'm going to be able to help my patients the most effective way and what does the research show? What are the new techniques? What are the new concepts? As soon as we kind of move into a postcode, everybody in this area is now a little bit better off, a little bit more well, I guess you'd say. It depends on what they're coming here to see. It's really opened myself up to different things and playing Super Rugby is quite a unique sport in the sense that we play in Argentina, we play in South Africa, so we're dealing with all different time zones around the world. But to have a place just up the road from where I'm living in Brisbane is a great opportunity to sort of get away from it all. Session in the float tanks is essentially your excuse to just push all that to the side, shut down the kind of external stuff that's going on. come in and you're warm, you feel everything sort of consumes you, the, from the smells to the visual things, to the warmth of the colours on the walls, to all the staff. It's like this whole idea and this concept of wellness is completely backwards from what we're used to. And that's the idea, and we want to basically implement this with you know, kids so that they actively seek out places like this. We've got a professional boxer um, that comes in twice a week and we actually play crowd noise through the speakers and the float pool for him. So when he's in there, he's in complete darkness. We've got some of the toughest males ever that come through our doors. Like we've got professional fighters that are coming through and they're admitting that, you know, they still need to calm down. Whether you're doing it in the morning to get on with the rest of the day or whether it's an evening flight to just go home and really chill out, yeah. Um, but all the staff here are, are really friendly. It's, uh, it's like another home.